in these problems we are converting between logarithmic and exponential equations. We've seen already um, this kind of notation where you take the log of let's say 100. This really is the base 10 log. We call it a common log, um, but it's a power of 10 that we have to, uh, the power of 10 that gives us 100. So this is going to equal 2. Um, we just leave off that 10. If you see a log without a number down there, it means this is 10 to some power. So this is the power that 10 is to to get that number. We've also seen the natural log, which we write ln. And that really is, you know, the log base e of a number. But you can have a log with any kind of base you want. So if you look at this first problem, it says log base 3 of 1 over 81. What that's asking is, you know, what power do you raise 3 to to get 1 over 81? And in this case, it, you take 3 to the negative 4 power. And so we've got the whole equation here. We don't need to really solve anything. We just need to rewrite it in exponential notation. The way to remember that is that this is the base here. So that's the base, and this is the power. So this equation basically says 3 to the negative 4 power gives you 1 over 81. So we would rewrite this as 3 to the negative 4 equals 1 over 81. And I hope you can see that that's the case. Um, if we take uh, a, a negative of 3, a negative power of 3, we get 1 over 3. We take that to the fourth power. 3 to the fourth power is 81. So this is indeed 1 over 81. We can go the other direction too. If we want to rewrite this as a logarithmic equation, well, we would have log, and then the little number down here would be the base. Well, the base here is 8, the number that's being raised to a power. And then the result is going to go right here. And the power it's raised to goes here on this side of the equation. So this says the log base 8 of 8 is 1. And that makes sense because the log base whatever of the same number is going to be just 1. Because any number, if you get that number, you've raised it to the first power. This can be confusing when you first learn it. Um, so keep practicing.